Well, good morning to you all. It's a funny thing. I've been following YouTube for two years now on this photography journey and getting lots and lots of tips from these fabulous people who have channels. Thomas Heaton, James Popsis, Mads Peter Riverson, Mike Brown, um, First Man Photography, Adam, Gavin Hardcastle, Phototrippy, you've, you've probably followed all of them. And I have come to the conclusion, and it's probably from guessing all the information from them, that beauty is in the eye of the beholder. It's the person who takes the image, not the camera. It's a Mike Brown, very famous Mike Brown thing, you know, the camera doesn't take the picture, you take the picture. And I thought, if I was in a certain location, who would take the best shot from this scene? Because I, I, I got up early and I thought, you know, let's go and see if we can get a sun, sunrise. But in fact, there was no, there was so much cloud, I missed it. However, it's now giving me this lovely wash. And it, it led me to this thing of, well, how about, would, would Thomas Heaton see it differently? Would James Popsis, would Nigel Dant, would the, all of them see it differently? And you know what it comes down to? What it comes down to is you. It's you getting out of your comfort zone, getting out of your house and saying, I'm just going to go out and take a picture. And they will all take a different picture of the same scene. And you will take a different picture from the same scene. So what, it, what it's telling me is no one is right and no one is wrong. It's a little like in acting when you are told, right, I want you to play this part go off and read your lines and go and do the part. And so you put your own spin, your own interpretation on what you believe the character is like. You've read the character synopsis. <laughs> so the reality is there's nothing wrong in photography. You will take a photograph and it will be different to everyone else's. But do you know what? Because it's subjective, you will love your picture. So it's a short video this, I think. I just want to try and capture this scene. And you can see what I've got. If I drop that exposure compensation down, I can adjust things. And again, it's all that subjectivity. You know, what can this image do for me? So I'm gonna give you a little live view. I've got this composition. As I come out, you can see the rays of sun on the sea, giving me these kind of polka dot you know, almost Dalmatian dot shots. And I've got the nice bench in the foreground. So for me, the composition is the lonely bench on a cliff top, looking out to sea with those lovely rays of sunshine coming down. And the question then begs, <laughs> look, looks like I'm losing weight, doesn't it? Oh, get in there so much. <laughs> There's a long story attached to that, but I'm not going to get into it here. I'm going to take a couple of shots. I'd hoped for the sunshine. The sun's gone too high now, but if I don't get these shots now, then the, the purpose of the video is fruitless. <laughs> so I'm going to take the picture. I'm going to ask myself, what would Thomas, Gavin, Adam, James, Mads, what would they do with this image? And would they make it any different to what I'm making it, you know? And the reality is they might take the same shot. They might take a different shot, but it doesn't matter. It, what matters is you taking the shot. I love it. I really do. I think it's wonderful. I'm going to swing it round a little to the left and the right, because you know me with my panos. I like panos. And then when I've taken this shot, I'm going to go closer to the cliff edge and just take another one and then ask myself, what would the others do? I'll leave that one with you while I just go and walk down there. A lonely bench 
looking out to see. That's my composition. How would you have taken the same picture? Would you have done it differently? And it really doesn't matter. You take the picture, not the camera. Isn't that just astonishing? I love the colours and the hues. And I love the liberation that my own realisation is that I don't have to compete with all the other photographers out there. It really is. It's a solitary thing, photography. Unless you're in a photo group and you're going out with um, a, a gang of photographers or I go out with my friend Mark and we take photos and it's kind of competitive because I know he's got a different eye to me in terms of seeing a composition and taking a shot. But the reality then again is it really doesn't matter. You can compete and it can be friendly banter but you are taking it for your own enjoyment, your own pleasure wonderful so I've got a tanker right at the back there and it's just catching itself in the sunlight it's bathing down it's really lovely and there's washes of lights coming out and I think that you know with the colors themselves makes a wonderful picture so I go into aperture priority and and I've got all the little washes of light just coming down on the tanker. It's a strange subject, but I like the beams of light coming down and the different blues. And this, even though the sun is now high, I'm getting a lovely wash of orange just on the horizon. And it's only there. It's all gray everywhere else. You know, we all see something different in our camera lens. So I'm going to encourage you to get out and not be despondent if you are I, I've <laughs> you know what I did also I have normally my DJ Os Osmo pocket thing which I'll show you a picture of there that's what I normally use for my video production I'm having to use my phone I've gone back to old school got the phone there and the and the reason is I was transferring data off the SD card do you know where it is it's in my computer <laughs> so <laughs> I was up early this morning half four I thought I'll get out I'll take a sunrise and I grabbed all the gear but I forgot the SD card but it's fine because I didn't see the sun coming up anyway so I'm gonna do a little pano one more for the road I'm going to get this foreground, that's my composition, that's my composition, I get a bit of the cloud, uh, cliff and then across to that side, so a little pano, I do like my panos, it kind of does away with the need for having a, a, a 10 to 24, but Oh, it's beautiful. Look at the colours. Hang a, a little to the right to get this foliage in. Straighten it up. I like that I can use the sea as a, a horizon. Yep, that works. So, and I've got one more shot for you. And then we will conclude this short video. And there you have it. It really isn't a competition. It's actually the self-discovery that you take the photograph, 
that you want, that you like, that pleases you. And yeah, I'm, I'm discovering we don't need to be despondent just because our photographs don't match these fabulous images that all our favorite YouTubers take. Not everyone has a channel either, you know? People take photos and they post them up onto Instagram and Flickr and whatever other social media sites they have, Facebook, and just display their images. You know, I took this, I used my phone, I took this picture. You know, I've got my 35mm camera, I took this picture. And it was um, their enjoyment that let them do that. So, <laughs> with that in mind, I think... Um, if nothing else, I've helped myself, <laughs> you know, liberation, let yourself be free. It's liberating to know that I don't have to try and compete with everybody else. It's just me taking my pictures. Maybe I should start thinking about selling them. But the reality is I'm just happy to get out, you know, take some shots. <laughs> let me adjust this. I'm hitting my, hitting my legs. <laughs> Are you there? My channel's slowly growing. I'm quite excited about that because when I first started, it was a case of I've seen all these other tubers making videos to explain how to use the camera. But the reality is, I now watch the videos. And I do get a little bit bored. I'm not going to say who, but for me, I want to just enjoy the journey. I've got to know these characters, right? So I watch the video for them, not for the tips. And I suppose it's like watching your favorite celebrity or movie star. They've become minor celebrities in their own right. But because of that, my interest is watching them and I do enjoy their photos and I do enjoy their little stories, but what does knock me, and it probably knocks you too, is all the adverts. It's all the sales. And I guess because they're making a living, they have to sell their products. Get my online course, buy my calendar, do this and the other. It's fine, you've got that, but that doesn't interest me. I'm not there for that. I'm there to watch their shows. <laughs> How fickle am I? I'm kind of hoping that that's what my channel will continue to do. I will take my photographs. I will give you the odd tips. I can't remember if I told you f-stops and stuff there. I didn't, did I? Just took some pictures. Mm -mm -mm. Okay, back to the car. The green machine. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Bearing with. Um, I'm not going to. Yeah, I am going to say it. Smash the like button. Go on, just do it. You watch the videos, but you don't hit the likes. I forget. I watch all my favourite channels and I forget to click the like. And it does actually help. <laughs> Bye for now. See you in another video.